Hey guys, thanks. Wait. Not thanks so much for watching. That's my outro. Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 2.1. I'm Mike here. Um, one thing you can notice is, for those of you that are crazy, you can keep track of the time in the corner. So you can see that that was literally like real life seconds, but in game, like a couple minutes between episodes there, um, if you're really keeping track. Um, I'm going to hopefully try and let you guys know when it's like, you know, actually doing that. When I'm actually not waiting so you guys don't like freak out that I like cheat or something. Um, but you can see, oh, that was actually pretty quick. That took like a half hour in game time. You can see this is now dirt. Now, how do I get it out? Do I just right click? Yep, right click. There we go. We got our piece of dirt out of our barrel that composted nicely. So let's build, let's put this. One, two. Hmm. Now, if I. Can I plant this right here? And then if I twerk between them both, will they both grow? Hmm? Hmm? Es possible. Well, let's try that out. We want to make this be the most effectiveness. Is that we want to be the, as effective as we possibly can. I also want to keep this one high up. Let's see. Let's see, because I know like you can plant trees next to each other and they, oh, that one did. Now what about the other one? What about the other one? Why is it the other one doing it? So only do one at a time. The one on the right, it's not getting particles. Oh, there we go. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, this will be the, a better way to do this. And that way we can also get that piece of dirt back if we want it. It looks like it's kind of alternating between the two as far as where the effects are going. Because I can always move this dirt. Um, actually, I probably want to move it because I probably want to have one tree get infected and the other one not so we can get saplings from one and then... Because you have to be careful. If you infect a tree, I don't think you can get saplings from it. So you have to make sure you have, like, extra saplings. Oh my gosh, my hand is getting tired. <sighs> Hurry up. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we got one. Can we get the other one? This is ridiculous. Come on. There we go. Okay, at least we know they both can grow like close like that. All right, so we've got two good trees to go here. Let's see, let's make some more of these because we will need more of these for sure. Um, let's see here. Make dirt by composting saplings in a barrel. So we're done with the first page here. We crafted a sieve. We need rain. We need it to rain. We need to sift some dirt. So next task is to basically literally just grind and do nothing. <laughs> do nothing but get dirt because we need lots of dirt. So we need lots of saplings means lots of crooks, which means lots of trees, and it means lots of torque. Whose idea was that? That like, oh my mod, I'm gonna make it so if you torque next to a tree, it'll grow faster. It'll like act like you're bone mealing it. Thirteen saplings. That was pretty good. Maybe this whole dirt thing will be easier than I think. Maybe I should make some axes. Wooden axes, though, they just don't do very much. They don't do much at all. 
so it's almost just like you might as well punch and use the wood to expand your platform. Okay. Well, I think we can fill this up. Okay, it takes seven. It takes seven to fill it up. Right? We had 11. No, it takes eight. Sorry, I'm dumb. I can do my math. So eight to fill up a barrel. That's good to know. Well, let's expand the platform out left and right one um, in case we do start getting some big trees. And we, oh, we could work on a mob farm, too. I just get nervous with that. Could make some um, wood swords. And it'll expand it one back here. And I guess I'll expand one back here too. We might as well just start making a really massive platform with all sorts of stations for everything. Might as well, got nothing to lose. More crooks. There. I wonder if it's more effective to do each tree individually or if this is the way to do it. Oh, actually, we have another piece of dirt here. Um, this dirt I'm going to put over here because I want this tree. I want to plant another tree, and I want to infect this one. I have to be careful. I can't build something to step up on this because I don't have lights, and I don't want something to spawn on that. Now let's see if this is close enough to get this to grow. Because those will grow because it has light. So those have a chance to grow naturally. This one really doesn't because the light levels. I mean, it's six, but it's I think that's too low. So I would like to infect... Yeah, that is. Okay, so I would like to get this tree infected so we can go ahead and get ourselves a bed. Oh, sweet. That was easy. All right, let's get ourselves one of our silkworms here. Yep, so hopefully these won't... There we go. So hopefully if this one grows, I need to make sure there's no leaves touching so that these don't get eaten up as well. Because that wouldn't be really... That would not be good. Um, okay. Let's see. I might need some more of these. Yeah, I'll go one more row out. So it's got two. In case something really flies out. You probably could even make more of that, but... Yeah, that's good. Two there, two here, two there. That's good. Good enough. Yeah, this is, uh, this is good. This is a lot of fun. Pressing the shift key as fast as I can. I'm sure it's fun to watch too. Okay, now I need to make sure there's no touching leaves. And there are. I don't think it can jump. Either way, I'm taking this down, this tree down quick. So. Oh, both of them grew. Awesome. Okay, well, well we're going to use this to hopefully get some dirt now. Some dirt that we can sift through the sifter. That we can sift. We can sift our dirt. Ooh, 
two saplings on that one. That had to be lucky. Or maybe they both just pop down at the same time from both of those leaves. Awesome, 16. That's more than enough here. Let's fill this up. All right, got that filled. And this time the dirt that we get we'll go ahead and sift because we've got we've got a, a good tree set up here. This is good enough, I mean. It's really you could always use more, but I think I would rather sift. I don't accidentally punch the dirt out and have it fall, that wouldn't be good. Okay, there we go. Alright. So we got one more silkworm. Um, what were we going to do? Oh yeah, grab this. So we got one piece of dirt here. I think if I just... Okay, there we go. I put the dirt in the sifter. Now what do I do? Oh, I press right click and then it sifts it out. Oh, look at that, the little particles. Doot, 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 doot. Empty. What do we get? Three stones. That was it. Three little pieces of stones out of our composted this. Okay, so to me it makes sense. You see the little stone bits there? Like, if you were to go out into the normal Minecraft world, grab the dirt and sift it, okay, you get, you know, little stones, but if you just made dirt from just composting saplings, saplings don't have any dirt from it, or there's no stone, there's no stone for this to come from, so yeah, there's that. Now, I have to be careful, I'm pretty sure I can right-click with these and I can throw them, like weapons, and I can throw them to kill things, but we want to keep those because, ooh, big lag spike. Sorry, guys. Hold on. All right, we're back to 60. That was weird. Um, yeah, so this... We, we, we want to save these to make actual stone. So we're going to keep these in here. All right. Craft cobblestone from the small stones that drop from sifting dirt. Use a hammer to turn cobble into gravel. Yeah, so it makes sense that you can sift sand, find different things, dust, gravel. You can sift those and find something different. But it doesn't make sense that if it, there's no stone originally, then there shouldn't be any stone later. But I really appreciate the, I really like the effort and appreciate the creativity to get that to work. So we'll go ahead and just work with that. Um, okay, so we need... Let's make ourselves a hammer. We need to make a hammer, and that tree is almost done. So I think you make a hammer like this. Yes, I was right. All right, there we go. Wooden hammer. So we'll use this once we get ourselves some stone. And... We could probably get ready to... I want to make another piece of dirt. Yeah, but I need to keep the saplings. Yeah. This tree spout infected. We'll get ourselves a bed here. We'll have to sleep next night, but. Making sure I'm only doing the ones that are infested. Either way, we got more than enough. Oh, 
That's a string here. I'm not picking up. Oh no, it dropped off the side! Alright, there we go. Okay, plenty. Plenty. Alright, let's make ourselves... Let's make ourselves a nice, cozy bed to sleep in. Hmm, that's interesting. You can make wool slabs. But we just need ourselves a bed. Oh, I gotta do this. There we go, that works. All right. Next, let's expand our platform some around the back, because that makes me nervous. And then hopefully these trees will grow now that it's daylight. I'm afraid I'll spawn out of my bed and then fall. But I think we'll be safe if I just, I think we're safe now. I'll do one more just in case. in here? Oh, you can! It counts as only 4% material, though. Well, I can't cook these yet. So, I got two in here. So, let's, let's shove them in. What about string? Can I put string in here? Oh, I can. Let's put string in here. I don't need all this string right now. Let's put one of these in here. I like how it actually mixes the colors really nicely. There we go. That's a nice mooky gookness of silkworms, string, and saplings. Sift yourself another piece here, and then we'll see if we can get some for crops. Get some cobblestone going. We just need it to rain, though. We need some rain. That might take a while. Maybe I shouldn't sleep yet, because I know sleeping can inhibit rain. You know, like on a server, right? Nobody sleeps, so it always rains more because, like, the tick doesn't get reset or whatever. It's whatever the science and coding behind that is. So I'm not going to sleep yet. There's no need for us to sleep. I don't want to sleep until we really get, like, other stuff going. Until I can worry about actually dying other than falling off. All right, composted. Now let's sift this. Four stone this time. Okay. Now, let's see if we have enough to make a piece of cobblestone. No, we don't, obviously. Or is it like this? Maybe it's like this. Oh, it is like that. Okay, we have enough to make a piece of cobblestone. We just made a piece of cobblestone. That's actually kind of cool. Yay! We made cobblestone. Okay. Well, we could smash the cobblestone or we can save it. Um, let's see here. Let's look in the achievements. Craft cobblestone from the small stones that drop from sifting dirt. Use a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, sand into dust. Sift gravel, sand, and dust in the sieve. Um, because it's an achievement and because we only have one, so basically we need cobble to, like, for instance, make a furnace, right? Um, so... I'm going to have to like grind to do that because that's just going to take a while. Um, and then I'll show you guys when I do it afterwards. Um, 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 um. So I'm actually going to smash this because it's only one. So I'm actually going to grind and do a bunch. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and smash this. Let's see how this works. Okay, it smashed it. I got a piece of gravel now. Here, let me let me look up. So we saw what we could get from sifting gravel or sifting dirt. What happens when you sift? Hmm, it doesn't show you what you get from sifting. Okay, never mind. That's weird. Sometimes it does that and like puts all my stuff strangely. 
Okay, so we made gravel. You can smash it again. And we get sand. We smash it again. And we've made dust. I don't believe we can smash this again. Yeah, it just breaks it. Okay. So, we've used a hammer to turn cobble into gravel, gravel into sand, and sand into dust. Now we need to sift gravel sand. We'll go ahead and sift the dust right now, though. Okay. I wonder if, if we'll get anything different here. We got powdered gold ore and powdered aluminum ore. Well, aluminum ore is not an ore in Minecraft, but gold is. So, I don't... That's... That's interesting. You get that from dust. I guess it had, like, fine particles of little dots of gold in it. And aluminum. Let's look up. Oh, there's so much gold. Powdered. Let's look up just powdered. Powdered. Here we go. So, here's all the powdered ores. Let's look up uh, powdered gold ore here. So yeah, gold ore, sand, or obviously with... Oh, here we go. Sifting dust. Sifting dust gets you all sorts of things. You basically get all of the dusts. Redstone dust, glowstone dust. Blaze powder. That's weird. You can get blaze powder from that. See, there's something that's like, you can go to the nether and get blaze powder. I assume we can go to the nether in this. So, why would you make this... Why would you make it where you can sift dusting it, blaze powder? But whatever. Now, what do you use this for? What do you use this for? What do you use it? It shows you how to get it, but I don't know what it's used for. Uh, what about powdered aluminum mole? You just craft the. Oh, no. Oh my gosh. I don't even I don't even know. <laughs> I have no idea. Portals keep these in here for a while. Alright, let's look at our actual achievements here. Alright, let me make some let's just get some of these Minecraft achievements out of the way. Let's go ahead and do that. So we needed to make Let's see, we need to make a sword and a hoe. So we got pickaxe, wooden hoe, sword. Boom. Getting our achievements going. Alright, can't do any of these other ones. <laughs> Okay, we can't make any of these, I'm pretty sure. Let's look at rediscovering... Let's look at creating a countertop. Just out of curiosity. I don't know how to get that one. I thought we got worms. Okay, that looks like it's stone. We can probably create... Stencil. We'll do Tinker's Construct. I think that's something we need to be doing next. Okay. Oh, tree grew. Hey there, tree. Oh, we can't use this. We can't use this. We have no purpose for this. Um, let's see here. Yeah, he was talking about the inventory glitch. He made it optional because it was having some glitches. It was still very buggy, and I think you can see that's one of them. Every time I go into here, all of these like go up here for some reason. Um, what was I going to look up? I was going to look up something. Uh, oh yeah, the blank stencils. How do you make the blank stencils? No, not... What was it called? Um... What's it called? Well, 
blank pattern. Maybe that's just what it's called. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's how you make that. You make four of them. Okay, wow, nice. We'll go ahead and do that. Make four of these. There we go. Stencil worker. All right. So I don't know what the I don't know anything about Tinker's Construct. I don't know what this is, but I'm supposed to make this because it's in the achievements. So now we can make bone tools. It looks like paper. Uh, either way, make Tinker's Construct tools from bone or flint. So we need so I, we can make a bunch of gravel and get flint. Or I think the better thing to do is to make a mob spawner. Make a mob spawner. Yeah, make a mob spawner. And then get bone. Make clay by putting dust into a water-filled barrel. That's interesting. Craft and cook a crucible. Heat a crucible with a torch and insert stones or cobble to make lava. Build a cobblestone generator. And then you're to the Stone Age. Hmm. Keep sitting with the stone barrel. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so we need the terrain. To get a couple, to get a couple of these here, and then we need to basically get a bunch of these trees. Okay, so let me go ahead and put some of this stuff away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap up episode three here, um, and then between the next two, I'm basically going to cut down a bunch of trees, get a ton of saplings. Hopefully, so basically, if it starts raining. Or if I, or basically, so if it, if it starts raining and then once I get a ton of saplings to fill up a bunch of barrels to compost, I'll do episode four and then we'll, we'll hopefully see what we can go from there. And I'll get a bunch of wood as well and we'll go ahead and make ourselves a little mob spawning area. So let's see. We'll need a bunch of these. <coughs> Let's do this. Um, I need an apple to eat. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm enjoying playing it, and I'm excited to see all of the crazy mods I need to learn how to play. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I will see you in a little bit after I um, cut down a lot of trees. A lot of trees. Talk to you guys later. See ya.